Okay, so I am sat down nice and comfortable in the chair now because my bum was just starting to really hurt after I showed you guys what's in my suitcase. So now I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a haul of the bits and bobs I picked up whilst I was in town today. Just things that I need for the holiday basically. So another holiday item things. So I went into Primark um, because I needed, oh yeah, I needed a digital scale. So I went in just for that, but I got cotton pads, which let me go grab it. So these are the cotton pads I got from Primark and this was just 50p guys, I can't believe it, 50p and they're so good and they're called Around Cosmetic pa Pads 100% Cotton. If you haven't noticed by now, I have a tiny bit of an obsession with sunglasses. So I went into the men's section because I had to exchange some things for Mal, I can give him a few more things and yeah, I ran into the sunglasses section, men's, and I picked these up. Um, so I'm going to try it on for you guys. So that is what they look like. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I love it. My husband... <laughs> I, sh I shouldn't ask him for opinion, you know? Like, he, he just comes up with the most stupidest things. And this was £2. Um, I can't show you the items I got from Ali because it's in the washing machine. And I actually got myself a few things. But once again, washing machine. Is it just me? that every time I go to Primark or any other shop really, I just pop it in the washing machine because I just feel like they've been on the floor, they've been stomped on, I don't know, someone might have wiped the bogey on it or someone might have just like done, I don't know, I just don't know, so it's in the washing machine. <laughs> Anywho, next I got this PS hand gel that kills 99.99% of bacteria and that is what it looks like. So I can um, I just got this so I can pop it in my bag when we're going out and about on a daily and just pop it and you know rub your hands because you're out and about and you have kid so you need to keep your hands nice and clean. What well, last thing I got from Primark is this Colgate Healthy Clean which just looks like that and I only got this because I wanted something tiny to put in the bag. Let's see how small this is. It's pretty small. Look how tiny it is yeah it's pretty small so that's good i'm gonna pop that in the toiletry bag so i initially just went in for this digital scale which looks like that if you can see is and it was four pounds um primark why is this four pounds this should be a pound i could have got it in the pound shop but they ran out so yeah then i went into boots because i needed sunscreen for my lick and i got this one let me show you guys a close up of it. I got this one, which is, if it's focusing, I don't know if it's focusing or not, probably not. This is the one I got. So I got the highest SPF, which is SPF 50. Um, the one that said kids on it, basically it came out blue. I don't know why. Um, at the back it had a sticker that said blue, like colored blue. And the lady was like, yeah, it's blue. Um, I know it's a bit freaky, but um, it's meant to be like more water resistant. But I'm like, no, mm -mm, because I'm gonna use it too. Like not for my face, but like for my arms, my legs and my husband too. So I'm like, no, I don't wanna be blue. No thanks. So you Aldi. And I bought so much snacks. You guys are gonna be like, what is going on? Is there no food in um, Morocco? But hold up, hold up guys, let me explain myself. So we went to Dubai, um, Malik was like two, a year ago, and I got one of these, you know one of those like clear bags that you can put food in when you're going to the airport so that they can let you in and stuff. So I bought quite a bit of baby snacks and it came in really, really handy actually because sometimes we would wake up at nine, have breakfast, leave by 10, 30, 11, and Malik would have had his breakfast two hours ago and obviously he's gonna get peckish, he's gonna want a snack and we would sometimes be out like exploring, doing a lot of weird things and sometimes there's no shops nearby, there's no restaurants nearby so you can't get food just like that. So the snacks that I took with me, I took a bag of snacks basically in one of those clear plastic thingies and it came in really handy because anytime he was like hungry or getting fussy just get it out of my bag i took it i took one every day i put a snack in my bag each day we went out so it came in really handy in terms of that like if he didn't want to sit in his buggy and i gave him a snack he'd sit down or if he was hungry and um the restaurant i don't know it's 25 minute walk away or there's no taxis would walk it but he's really hungry so i give him a snack so if you have kids take snacks 
because you're not guaranteed to have a shop anywhere like you just don't know these things so better safe than sorry so obviously I went into Aldi got a bunch of things um, also for like you know the airport you're in the airport you're there for like three hours we're not gonna go for three hours it's only it's not international flight so we're gonna be there two hours early but even in the airplane we're not gonna get food so this is just snacks to show you guys what I got because I'm excited I don't know about you guys but I'm excited to try these out so first thing I got is actually from Primark and this was I think a pound so this is what it is it is proper corn um I think it's sweet and salty yeah and I just thought this would be really nice to have in the airplane or waiting and stuff everything I'm going to show you now is from Aldi I haven't tried anything and it's the Aldi in Piccadilly by the way if you live in Manchester town Aldi is the best i got almond croissant and i got some chocolate muffin i had that for breakfast i know i'm not good but anywho <laughs> let's move on so this is the first thing i got um this is a crunchy chili rice snacks these are all healthy by the way all healthy so if you're a health person you're gonna you're gonna love this if you're a healthy person this is mainly for me and my husband not for malik but i got him these ones because we got him this once before when we went for our food shop and he loved it, like loved it, loved it, loved it. Just the same as the previous, but the flavour is the sea salt and it's blue. So this is what it looks like. So next I have these crispy oats and honey granola bar bites. Granola bites. And it is crunchy whole grain oat snacks. And I love these. I always used to buy the the bars the full bars and this is what they look like i don't know if you guys can see it looks so yummy and so delicious mm -mm -mm. i got these a uh, chocolate coated orange rice cake bars and this looked so good i opened one already i didn't try it but i opened it so this is what it looks like can you guys see that i don't even know if it's focusing but that's what it looks like and malik loves rice cakes in general anyway so i'm Hoping he'll like this. Of course he'll like it. What am I talking about? It's chocolate. And it's rice cakes. And he loves both of those things. So yeah, this will be really interesting. This is what it looks like. I have two of these sun-dried tomato and basil pita chips. Because it just looks so good. It says poppy seed pita chips. Seasoned with sun-dried tomatoes and basil. And this is what it looks like. If you guys can see that. I bought two because it just looks nice doesn't it sound nice i don't know but yeah so next i got these um marmia apple mini rice cakes i know they say from seven months but i have these and i'm not a baby <laughs> they're really delicious and really healthy really good for you and it's organic so, and the last thing i got is not that healthy it's the only unhealthy thing and that's because my inner unhealthiness comes out. I'm unhealthy anyway. I don't, I'm not ashamed to say that. But um, yeah, I got these Maltesers because I thought I should add chocolate treat in there. And they're just Maltesers. That's that. Oh, that's not the last thing I got. I lied. I got these breathable panty liners, which look like this. Yeah, I just thought I'd get that as well. Oh, and then I went into body care. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with body care. Um, but, oh my god guys if you haven't been into body care before you need to and if you haven't checked out body care makeup you need to because today i was just skimming through and i saw so many good makeup items that are catered for like darker skin tones as well like i've never seen that before with cheaper makeup i saw this really really nice um highlighter golden beautiful i swatched it on my hands and it was gorgeous honestly guys um but i didn't go there for highlighter so i didn't pick it up but the makeup brand is called technic from body care and i'm definitely doing a trying body care makeup soon when i come back inshallah because oh my god guys if you see the concealers if you see the foundation they have dark shades like you don't get that okay you don't get that in um drugstore foundation even like or even Poundland makeup, you don't get the darker shades, like the deeper skin tone shades. So, you best believe I'm about to pay Body Care a visit soon. I know it sounds like Body Shop, but it's not Body Shop, it's so cheap. So I'll show you guys what I picked up from there. I got these um, eyelashes, and these are eye candy eyelashes. There we go. If you guys can see that. How good do these lashes look, guys? So pretty. 
let me get closer like oh, wow can't wait to i think those were two pound 49 or three pound 49 i'm not sure um second thing i got is this denvit whitening anti-stain intense daily fluoride toothpaste gentle on teeth and this is what it looks like if you guys can see that that's what it looks like and if i open it up i've actually used this once before when i went to dubai oh they made it bigger it's different to the one i had this is what this one looks like it's different it's definitely different but um yeah it, it says anti-stain and that is definitely true when i went to dubai i used this and guys i'm not gonna lie but my teeth were looking good like they were looking real good like yeah so i think that's really good and then i got these cleansing nose pore strips because god knows i need it. that is what that looks like if you can see and this i think was 1.99 and i run out of that black face mask that i use you know the the peel off mask i used to use that around my nose and my chin and my forehead but i've run out so i need to get something to get rid of my pores on my nose no i'm not pores black it last thing i got from body care is um a little sharpener a little tiny cute sharpener because i don't actually have a sharpener i don't actually own one and i don't understand why because i've got so many lip liners that i haven't used in so many months purely because i've never bought a sharpener <laughs> so that's that if you guys could only see the floor right now i've chucked everything down so i need to clean out now i'm gonna quickly tell you what i'm gonna do with all these snacks because obviously i need to put them somewhere right so i went into pound shop pound land or pound world i'm not sure in town i got myself one of these um you can see through it obviously so i'm gonna put all the snacks in here i'm gonna try and fit as much as i can in here so let's see how that goes let's go okay, so i'm on the floor now guys i'm gonna try and fit these snacks in this thing which really isn't even that big like it's not that massive can you see like two of my face can fit here <laughs> two of my face Anywho, so I'm gonna try and fit it in here. Wish me luck. Okay, so far, so good because look, I've managed to fill most of it in. I was thinking I'm gonna put the popcorn and the sea salt rice cakes in my backpack and one of these um, rice cake covered with chocolate orange <laughs> so i was thinking i put these three in my backpack and yeah that's just a snack in whilst we're around the airport but this is now done full of snacks i'm gonna pop it in the bag and just zip it up um, so yeah it's just for emergencies when we're really hungry and we're stranded somewhere and it's really hot and there's no shops or restaurant nearby it's just really good to have a plan b i don't have a plan c but i got a plan b so that's all that matters <laughs> so guys that is what i am packing for my holiday to morocco let's not forget these these trainers i have worn once since i bought them and i think they were only like 20 pounds the carry more ones those are coming in handy because um we're gonna go trekking like i told you up a mountain and stuff to see waterfalls so i'm gonna wear those because obviously i don't want to take like really nice trainers or like flats you can't you can't trek in flats so that's what's coming with me but i'm gonna have to figure out how to fit in my corner but i'll probably just squeeze it in and sit on it <laughs> knowing me but that is the end of the video guys i hope you guys have enjoyed it i know it's a super duper long video but nonetheless i hope you did enjoy it. i hope it was useful i only filmed it because a lot of you guys in the comment section did say oh yeah i'm going on holiday soon your haul helped me but then i thought you know what i could do more to help you i could um show you guys what i'm packing with me and maybe that will help you maybe the way i did it will give you some sort of inspiration or like the things i've used or the shops i went to buy like cheap things or like the snack idea that's a good idea especially if you have kids even if you don't have kids use it hey okay, guys that is it i hope you've enjoyed this video if you did let me know and if you guys are going anywhere nice soon let me know in the comment section below and if you have any suggestions on what to do in morocco or like places to visit places to eat let me know because that really help especially places to eat because i'm always looking for like amazing places to eat 
so let me know guys okay i'll see you guys soon bye